Hello friends, I'm so happy to share with you today a drive through Woodbrook, a popular place in Port of Spain, Trinidad. And in this video, I'm going to be using natural songs because I'll be speaking directly into the mic. So when that count, uh, counts down to zero, it'll switch to natural songs of mini truck driving. So that's an unusual first. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much. Friends, we are going on a road trip to Woodbrook, which for me is close by, so it's not really like a road trip, but for you all it would be. Now, I'm starting here in Port of Spain, and I'm doing something new, which is I'm recording directly to the onboard mic. So you'll hear a lot of background sound. I'm gonna see how this is. In order to get to Woodbrook from here, I have to cross this light and make a right. We're in Port of Spain proper right now. And um, it's around 1.10 p.m. And as you can see, there's lots of traffic. It's a sunny day though, cloudy And I have this truck up for sale And because I have it up for sale I want to take the opportunity to try and Grab some of these areas before The truck goes Um, as always Make sure to subscribe it's free It has a the subscribe button if you're not part of YouTube then Simply get a gmail account which is also free and that will enable you to log into YouTube and subscribe Because I'm recording in real time, you might find that I pause a little bit more because I don't want to be talking so much that I lose concentration of both where I'm going, where I'm going, and the traffic on the road because you know there are a lot of crazy drivers around, so I have to make sure I don't end up in an accident. That's the port ahead if you can see it And this building here, I always like this building It looks, has a nice Caribbean look Actually they recently seem to have fixed it up and painted it It's kind of falling apart, which was a shame This square on the right, that's Victoria Square I'm not, I'm not sure exactly where we'd start Woodbrook I know when I turn left and I hit the lights that would probably be the official start but We're still really in Port of Spain proper And even when we're in Woodbrook we're still in Port of Spain but just not proper Up ahead that's where TN Tech well still is but it's being dismantled I have a whole video on that by the way heading to now would be Arapita Avenue and this to me would be the official start of Woodbrook and this is Arapita Avenue now Woodbrook when I was a child was mostly a residential place despite being so close to Port of Spain proper the main city 
However, as you notice, it's very um, commercial right now. I mean, there are still residents here, but not as much. Now, because of the hour of the day, it'll be kind of hard for me to um, pick up all these streets. Eh? I'm not sure yet whether I am going to pick up all these streets. For one, picking up these streets are hard because it's, a lot of them are one-way streets and I have to make so many loops in order for you to see everything. The other situation of course is traffic. However, the, the day has presented itself because of late it's been raining a lot and I really haven't been able to do anything as far as recording goes. That cross street ahead would be French Street, which is another popular street. A lot of people know it. A lot of um, what what Brook is known for now is a lot of restaurants eating. So on the left and the right are places to eat. And look for them some of them are a bit discreet it's more like a home renovated or what used to be a home renovated to be a restaurant but this section here you could see lots of um, places to eat being vegan, I don't emphasize these things. I just let you know for informational purposes. That's where people come to eat at, at night, in the evening, just before six. There's lots of activity here, you know, people on the street and whatnot. It's kind of the new St. James. I don't know if it's, I would consider it as busy as St. James, but it's a new place where people want to be. You'll recognize some of the names from abroad as well as local. This building on the right here with the strange look is a casino. A lot of that here in Trinidad. It used to be, if memory serves me right, a grocery. That's many, many years ago. It was a grocery first, then I think it put it on office to sell office furniture. And now it's a casino. The main road here was paved recently, so if you're wondering why the road is so good, that's why. Especially near Carnival, they always pave this road because a lot of bands pass here. So it's still in good shape. That um that place on the left there, they used to be uh, like a snack head. All of this is our Pita Avenue store. Smokey and Bunty is on the right there. Just past it. That that bar used to be in St. James and used to be a popular hangout bar. This intersection is also quite popular. People go and buy doubles and stuff there. 
You'll notice some of the houses still maintain that old colonial look. Really the only houses that are ever, ever renovated here are the ones that are bought for commercial purposes. Most residents keep their place exactly the same. Now I am only doing this to show you the full length of our Peter Avenue. But now I have to go to the side streets. Now the streets here have changed a lot. If I went straight I would go to the highway. Now this street for instance, this would take you into Fatima if I turn left. But really that would be going into uh, Mukarapu. I don't know if they consider Fatima really part of Woodbrook. However, as the sign there on the right says, I cannot turn right. So I have to turn left. And then turning left, you'll get to see a bit of um, Fatima and Fatima grounds. But really, I kind of dread going this way because of traffic. Even though I'm recording this when there's no school, and yet, look at how much traffic is here. Now I could turn left and make a spin around there but I'm gonna go straight and make a loop because this is really Mukarapo Road Sometimes people will stop and stick for one reason or the other and that makes driving in Trinidad really long and tedious. But this area here, this would be really Mukarapu and if, if I went, if I could jump over this house, I'd go over into St. James. But I'm just making a loop. I'm just making a loop uh, to turn around. Head back into Woodbrook. Now those big buildings there, that's called One Woodbrook Place. So it's actually number one Woodbrook. This is the loop I'm talking about. I don't know if this is picking up the loud songs of the engine or the background and you can hardly hear me but it's like an experiment that's one of the things you know on JB's man cave I like to try new things I normally would have a specific mic for this that would be near my mouth and would pick up just me and isolate the background songs but I'm doing this impromptu so I'm trying it out so we're heading back into Woodbrook now many streets to Woodbrook right but let me let me start by turning left here see that church that's that church has been there forever 
and these buildings are have become like icons for Wood Rock. But they have always been there. Also on the left, I don't know if you can see it, but that's an IMAX center. Uh, Woodbrook is a fairly nice place to live, except for the commercial aspect and petty crimes. I mean, I call it petty, but robbery, theft. That type of thing. I'm spinning around here because I don't want to go into St. James. I'm sticking with Woodbrook. Like I said, Woodbrook has so many little street side streets. I mean, all on the left. I'm not sure how much of it I'll cover today. I'm going to try to cover it all as much as I can. See how the house is on the right? I mean it's in their need of repairs but that's all just think of that house you know painted and with a roof proper and stuff that's how houses generally looked in Woodbrook when I was a child and you still see some of them this is just as we go down the street you'll still see more like that look on the left and the right you'll still see some of those the crowd that ones covered by weeds and when they look like that you know it's a residence when it's commercial they, they tend to modernize it and the ones that actually keep that look are the ones that are usually restaurants so that's in Crispin um, Anglican school that we just passed there so you see this is O'Connor Street but I cannot go up there because it's one way and that's, that's the difficulty of showing you what Woodbrook is like you know I can only go certain streets and I can only do this and I can only do that that's one of the issues I encounter with trying to show you stuff here you can see how many modern buildings are here building on the right has been here for quite a while it's related to the Catholic Church church right there I'm going to try and turn right here this is like the shortcut everybody knows to get to things and they recently paved it, thank goodness. Because it was really bad. I could still smell the pitch. It smells fresh. But in coming this way, I will also be able to show you some side streets. I can't turn right because that's a uh, one way but I should be able to turn on this one Brabham Street of course you notice a lot of people parked on the road This isn't like Belmont where there isn't room for parking. So when people park on the road, it's usually there are visitors. Maybe they have extra vehicles or no room.
this particular road I'm on now it's a very interesting road I like this house up ahead on the right where it's done but it's commercial it looks like a house That's the IMAX that I was telling you about earlier. I want to see if I could turn right. I haven't been in a lot of these streets for a long time, so me turning here is like a first. Always appreciate when people stop for you, flash your means, go ahead. You tend to get that a lot here in Trinidad. People will let you go, as opposed to sometimes, for instance, when I'm in the States. Hardly people will do that. I guess it depends on your community here, you know. Anyway, I wanted to show you here this particular road is often used to get to the highway. Or I shouldn't say highway, Rison Road. Which in a way acts like a highway. So if you haven't been to Woodbrook for let's say 30 years or 40 years this will all seem like foreign country to you except for maybe the old buildings that maintain its style you would hardly recognize it tell me if I'm not right in the comments area a slight stutter or stomach and my voice is because some of these roads are bad and it shakes so you get a uh, sometimes when you're talking so I'm, this is Anna Street we're coming down and I'm turning on to Arapita Avenue try and get some of those streets that I didn't get so we turn in here onto Divital The hotel is one of the um, bigger streets. It's a one-way street. So that's why I can drive in the middle like this. And it's a good thing too because cars are parked on both sides of the road. Now, some of you all might recognize this particular road as one of the roads where you do your driving test. Actually, most of Woodbrook is used for learning how to drive or driving tests. the left or right left will just take you back to where I showed you with where um, Patima was you could see how it just swung then that was a restaurant to get 
bunch of food here is a very common thing. Negotiating all these streets is like I said is really difficult because of the one-way aspect. Essentially it's only Arapita Avenue which is the main avenue that allows two-way traffic. Some of the side streets also allow to which uh, to which uh, traffic but this street these streets that run north to south don't allow it so that's the unique thing about it now I just double in back here to make sure I didn't miss any streets that happen to be one way I think there's one that I need to capture we came up the Vata L and then I took it to the road on the right so one that I need to grab is this one here on the left. O'Connor. Came up a corner. And I'm gonna go back down to the tell one more because I turned but this way to make a loop to get Petra. Um, I need to be able to spin around. I can't do that from the other way. So we're back down here again. My young days as a child we used to live here in Woodbrook and even way back then and I'm talking about when I was maybe six years old they broke into the house and stole stuff and whatnot so Woodbrook has that infamy eh, where people tend to steal and they especially like to steal batteries from vehicles here and then the old vehicle and they especially do that at night when people come out I'm not saying that you should be totally scared about coming into a drop but like anything else you have to be cautious right so this is Rising Road I will be facing me here but I'm not going to go totally in there I'm going to turn here and Petra if I did so we're gonna try it talking a lot takes away some of my concentration too so I can't remember every street nevertheless because it's one way you will find that I'll drive up some of these streets often to get to other streets and you can see the roads here aren't very good and I had a dodge let's send to reserves girls that we passed on the right there A small Baptist church on the right there too or the left sorry and this particular stretch we're going on has a lot of traffic
Anthony right there they sell um, stuff for costumes for carnival those of you who like carnival that's where you buy a lot of these things necessary to make costumes they also have their own little mass camp I think they call it what? Ronnie and Carol never played um, carnival never jumped up or anything like that have been around carnival to record for video take pictures but as, as I told you before that's not allowed now I'm gonna go down a bit as you can see so many streets are no entry so I have to thread carefully and that I don't want to turn into somewhere I'm not supposed to capture this little street here some of these streets may seem um, nothing worth mentioning per se unremarkable but for somebody that has um, lived in Woodbrook or probably even on these streets would be something really sentimental of value Right, so that's the mass camp I was talking about. We went straight, I believe, already. So I'm gonna turn here now. Try and cover more. So Gala Street is there on the right, but I can't go down there. So I'm gonna turn onto Alberto. Which will give me a bit of a park. That place on the left that looks nice is a uh, seems to be a medical service place. I don't know. There's a square there. We have some nice exercise equipment. It's another old church that has been there for, for quite a while. There's some streets that just remain as they are forever houses look the same and whatnot you see little changes here and there but nothing much the unfortunate thing too about um, driving in Woodbrook is some of these streets are dead ends can't remember if this one is or not but when you do go down it's very hard to turn around those of you who have seen my um, Pity Valley video my Pity Valley road trip as it were would remember that um, I'm gonna go on sh to try to go straight across it is a dead end but doing this so you could see the street get like lost when they're driving all right so continuing down the same street again and because these are dead ends and they closed it off from traffic from um, Rison Road which is ahead um, people don't traverse down here much it used to be that you could always drive anywhere along here and get to rice you know, but you can't now so you will end up hitting a dead end and then you have to turn around I guess for the residences they appreciate that for me having to turn around I don't appreciate that so much This particular road is not um, how do I put it? No, 
one has wide cars on it, potholes. So some of these streets don't make it very inviting to turn around. And because it, it's get it's like amazing here. You'll forgive me if I miss any of your streets that you open, but I mean, at least you will get a general idea of Woodbrook. I believe Gallus is on up street on the right but down here you can go both ways here and you could go both ways because again it's a dead end a big building it's what Woodbrook Pentecostal Church also have a lot of parishioners to put such a massive building that's a credit checks building if you want to know where and you have problems with your credit Bailiffs maybe, that's where the location is. Our credit system is not the same like the states, at least not yet, where you build up credit. Here it's more like you're owing somebody and they come after you, that's it. Most banks and institutions here just like to see a, a history, a job letter and stuff, rather than checking a credit number. Maybe that'll change at some point. Alright, so I'm gonna go straight up because previously I could not. come down here <clears throat> so far the weather is holding up which is good because for the past few days it's just been raining every day and the weather here is kind of crazy it will go rain sun rain sun rain sun but for the most part it was raining really really bad and unlike my other videos I am alone today I turned off the radio and that's why I'm able to give you background sound real life sound speak at the same time normally that's not the case hence I I don't normally do this on my videos all right so we went down Alberto Now, one of the most um, unique things in Woodbrook too is this triangle that we're coming to. It's one of the strangest intersections I've ever seen. Stop, stop, stop. And 
another good place to learn how to drive I will have to turn down here and come up that road because <coughs> I wouldn't have been able to go down there all the way in the distance you can see what is called flour mills in Trinidad they don't grow wheat they import it but I don't see why not we have so much unused land and while I'm a big advocate for preserving land there is land that is just in a state you know humans excavating places and then not really using it for anything so they may as well use it as farmland I am gonna go straight across like most things like I said before the traffic system here is bad this street also is a dead-end street so because it's two-way and people park if one vehicle is coming forward you really cannot do anything look at the example I'm talking about up ahead you have one vehicle turning around one trying to go down one trying to come up and they're experiencing trouble the blue car has to kind of duck in between spaces in order to let those vehicles come up I'm just waiting here because I can't pass with all that traffic going on So now it's clear, now I can proceed. Again at some um, flour mills up ahead. They cover a very large area so that's why you're still seeing them. On the left there I believe is um, the Board of Inland Revenue and I'm just going to use it to turn around the same thing here cars trying to come down I'm trying to go up and ahead is no entry so it's one way in any case I am going to go let me see right so I need to I can't turn left here so I'll have to go right Street that I couldn't, I couldn't um, go down. Now, this street is a pretty unique. You'll we'll pass the square on the left, but most people would go straight ahead because it will take it to um, Tragreet Road. 
Now, I'm not sure if Trigrid Road is officially part of Woodbrook or St. Clair. Or maybe it's just the divider. Either way, I'm going to give you a bit of it going up this road for a reason. place near the stop sign on the left there they used to sell plants there well known plant shop not sure if they're still there or not I'm trying to figure out what it is orchid house right seems like it has turned into a multi faceted building where the plants have go on to the back and then to one side and the front is a bar or something else 24 they seem to call it or it's a convenience store that's the oval by the way they play cricket there very famous Those of you who love cricket, I will not be going on the roads on the right because that's definitely St. Clair. So I'm going to try and go down here. These side streets. Right, these are all the little side streets I was telling you. Now that, that building on the right there, that's the Little Carb Theatre and um, fairly famous for the acting performances Right, so as I said before, I have to make all these loops in order to capture all the areas because a lot of it is one way I would say we are about halfway through a book as far as covering streets See how much traffic there is up ahead, huh? <clears throat> and this is not a school month, this is the month of July, latter part of July, and it's around two o'clock now, just before, and uh, you know, it's not like school is out or something, so I, I don't know what's causing all this traffic. This particular road that I'm on is one way that people use to get to Port of Spain quickly. You have Target Road, this road, Arpita Avenue and Rison Road or you go around the Savannah But any of those at any given moment could have lots of traffic Anyway, this is um, Roberts Street 
Um, I cannot go right, which would be Alfredo. So I will have to go on the next one. And again start the looping process. By the way, I do have videos where sometimes I will capture a part of an area in more detail. And um, you can look for those, you know. So if you look up Woodbrook, maybe it might show you some particular area or park or whatever that I captured that is more significant than um, just a general road trip like this. Usually, if I record anything in detail, I will come out and record of my vehicle walk around and record it in a higher resolution as well so this is Carlo Street one of the more popular streets in Woodbrook wider streets too Adam Smith Square, I have a, a specific video on that square when it had people there selling stuff um, sometimes the government will allow vendors to come and sell arts and crafts and whatnot however oh, they're building something in the middle of there that I don't know what it's about but it's strange for me because really building in a public park I thought that was just not heard of but I don't know I'm seeing Unicom I don't know if those are the owners or the people involved in the construction by the way this is Arapita Avenue we would be facing um, east If I went straight ahead, I would end up in Polispin proper. Now, that Jacqueline pastries on the left there, that has been there for a very long time. Ever since I was a child, they've been making pastries, and that used to be the place to go and get your pastries and bakery stuff. Now it's not so um, popular. There's so many different people and places that do that now so now here they have gyms and stuff um, that's the port up ahead you can see the items those those mechanical contraptions they pull containers off the ship and it's a dead end there so there's no sense me going that way just gonna go up here I could go left and go on to right on the road this is one of the few roads here in Woodbrook that you could access Rison Road now because Carlos Street is kind of one of those unique streets I will go straight ahead even though we just came down from there so you could get a different angle going the other way always gives you a different appreciation for the same place I always mention that in my videos
place used to be, this particular street used to be all residential when I remember it. Now it's somewhat unrecognizable. That big building I had, as you can see, is um, one of infamy, one Alexandra. I won't go into much detail of that, but you can always do your own research on it. But it's, it's quite a huge building for an area like Woodbrook. But I believe that would be on the side of St. Clair. So officially that may not be Woodbrook. But right now we are in Woodbrook. Bar here on the left that's pretty well occupied. I have to do another video on St. Clair. For now I'm just going to use pay on Tragic Road to get back into one of the side streets where I can't. Two. So on the left would be St. Clair. This is Tragic Road heading east. And I'm going to turn down here to Murray Street this time. Woodbrook has a lot of parks. There's the snow cone man. It's an old man pushing his cart. Doesn't have an umbrella, so he's there in the hot sun. The street all the way ahead is where I went on did a loop. What I'm gonna do now is go on to Arapita Avenue and pick up the rest of Woodbrook again facing the same difficulty of one way streets that's Adam Smith Square on the, on the right and we're going on the left this is Arapita Avenue I think what I'll do is I'll turn right here the street and that way I pick up this side one time because this is a dead end and then go straight up same situation like the other streets you know because it's a dead end and cars on the road it's hard to move but this particular road is fairly big so moving around is not that bad that's um utt which is actually john donaldson up ahead and uh, i'm just gonna be turning around here you put us here So now that I've done that, I can go straight ahead across our Pitta Avenue. Uh, that'll put me in face of the park and the Woodbrook Police Station. I'm turning right and as I turn right that's the Woodbrook police station yeah, there's my snow cone man again 
Um, up ahead on the right used to be a cinema and on the left is Woodbrook Secondary. also take us to what is the Woodbrook Health Facility which ironically I think is actually on the side of St. Clair sometimes the name places here the front of how it really is but you know I, largely would, St. Clair is a pretty affluent area so I guess naming it St. Clair that doesn't mean named Woodbrook right anyway it's the Woodbrook a facility. This is our Peter Avenue. I'll be held in west here. I'm gonna turn down left here and then head back. on here right there that's the Woodbrook fire station which has an infamy of its own because a house was on fire like two block two houses away from it and the house burned down and the Woodbrook fire station couldn't put it off I can't remember all the circumstances of that if they didn't have water or whatever but still um, this is French Street which is one of the popular streets well known and this street here is a one way access to Port Spain directly ahead is the cemetery which I will specific video for as well what I'm gonna do is make a loop in order to get French Street properly because French Street goes all the way to um, Rising Road but there's some side streets here too that I'm sure you'll want to see That's the cemetery ahead, I'm turning up here which will take me to Cipriani Boulevard and the Savannah That building on the right used to be I think the border of Inland Revenue now I believe it's family court That Mario's place on the left that building there is also kind of iconic not the way it looks now eh? But it used to be for something that I can't remember quite well in my mind what it is. Those of you who can remember, you can feel free to comment. But when you comment, make sure to put the timeline of where you're commenting. YouTube actually, YouTube actually has a facility now where it allows you to put a timestamp. So please use it. That house directly ahead with the white and, and blue trim. That's Jenny's on the Boulevard, which is a restaurant, and I like how they maintain the colonial French look. This is Tragreet Road, which I am using to get back to French Street. On the right would be Newtown, which I also have a specific video for. If you haven't seen it, you can check out Newtown. It's not called Woodbrook, it's called Newtown. Some people refer to it as Woodbrook, but it's not. Woodbrook has its own area and town is its own area. The 
before Peter got as popular as it is this part here used to be very popular and a fees and out now it's a pan yard on the left I believe or did they change it? it seems like they put it to a car place it used to be a pan yard there Alright, so this is French Street I'm coming up to on the left here. This is French Street. On the left would be Massey, once known as Hilo. On the right is Woodbrook Secondary. The Holy Revival Ministries on the right there, that used to be a cinema. And there are some side streets here that I know everybody will want to see, but I can't go down there yet because I need to finish recording here, which is French Street, when I want to go across and um, make a loop again in order to capture everything. things I don't like about um, so called quote unquote development is you don't see any green anymore except for the parks but essentially all here was green now if I went straight I would go to um, Rising Road which I don't want to I have other videos about Rising Road so going down here keeping it on Woodbrook Directly ahead used, used to be TN Tech, which has been slowly broken down. Passing Gattaca, which is a street used by many people who give drivers lessons. Because the licensing authority is nearby. Seem to be doing something major here with the sidewalk pavement depending on which country that's how you call it right, so if I went straight ahead that would take me back up to where I was and um, what you call it? <coughs> up to by the cemetery up to Cipriani Boulevard. And one of the side streets here. go straight ahead because that would take me to French Street and then I would have to make the same loop I just did so I'm gonna go up here this will take me to Tragic Road and in going up here I'll try to get some of these side streets like Buller Street, yes, that's the name of the street. So 
so again I have to loop in order to accomplish that I also wanted you to see here because this particular stretch is fairly famous for escaping traffic the building on the right used to be a church at one time then um, a radio station I think it's a radio station now on the left there you could probably see the sign Wesley's International Barber Saloon Wesley's no more, I don't know if he's still alive or not but as a teenager I came there to cut my hair how many of you remember that? mostly men one or two more men would come in to cut their hair there but it was mostly um, men going there to cut their hair, shave etc Wesley, how many of you all remember Wesley? Alright, so I'm making the loop again in order to capture those last few streets which would put me at the end for Woodbrook not too sure if these roads by TN Tech there are considered part of Woodbrook or Port of Spain because really when I was recording the Port of Spain I captured those roads So we came down Roberts already. So I'm gonna see what roads here I come. Which roads here I can um, turn down? Maybe this one? Yeah. So I'll turn down this one. Who knows the name of this road? So this is Baden Powell Street Turn left because I wouldn't have been able to go to the other road um, otherwise. Which is kitchen up. derelict houses, old houses this is um, Woodbrook despite the way it looks is considered prime land it's commercial value but sometimes these properties have a lot of commerce associated with it it's tied up in court or disputes or something else Marcy on the right, Woodbrook Secondary straight ahead. Um, I can't get down Buller Street. <laughs> yep, that's the name. See there on the left? Street. 
So in order for me to get there, I had to make a loop on um, a repeater. Just for the purpose of circling to get to Buller Street because that's a one way street, I can't go down that street. So, by going this way, I'll be able to reach it. Straight ahead, that used to be the ice factory. Somebody had a mess there on the ground. So this is Buller Street. Again, nothing remarkable. But maybe it stands out for you if you used to live here or if you used to pass through here or whatever have you. Not sure what this person trying to do. You see? Okay. to be the um, cinema right down my left straight ahead will take me to the park we we'll police station on the right and so forth I didn't fully go down the street so for you guys and city house is on the left this is one way so I can't turn right there used to be a post office there on the right but now it's just a estate office I believe So that's what book folks more or less cover try to cover most of it for you. Sorry if I didn't catch some exact street that you were looking for but you know I got most most of it. Peter 
this of the vibes of the heart of Woodrock. You gotta see it one more time before I leave it and head back to the west. I was glad the day held up and I was glad that um, I was able to talk through this without too much noise. I didn't hear anybody really blasting any music and stuff because that's usually a problem that I face um, when recording. Trying to record live, you know, people blasting their music, you can hardly hear me and stuff. Make sure to let others know about JB's Man Cave and what I do. If you don't know why I do this, make sure to check the about section. I do this largely for my sons who have special needs. If you appreciate the time that I took to create this video for you, feel free to go to jboard.com or jbmancave.com. There are links in the description or on my YouTube channel to get there. And there's a donate section. Fuck the donate button is right in um, this YouTube video you can check. And feel free to donate. Show your appreciation because um, that helps me out. I'm gonna make one last loop here. This would actually take me to the highway and past the stadium, but since the stadium really it's part of Woodbrook. Let me show you guys what it looks like. That's the stadium there. It has so many different names. Eh? I know it as the Gene Fair Complex. That's the way it started. I think it was other names after that. Rotary Club on the left. On the right, they have um, the Red Cross Society, and sometimes they use that place for functions. This is um, the National Stadium. of you who left when you started hearing me about 28 well you missed that I can't go right because that would take me to um right in road on entry we're up here this part on the left here it's a large grounds but they also use it for vendors and shows and the things. and you can see the learner up ahead like I said these roads are used for learners to learn how to drive drive instructors to teach their students I don't miss those days at all especially when I was now learning how to uh, use a manual that was like a nightmare alright so I'm back on um, our pizza here St. Crispin and Princess Elizabeth Center on the left, that's a place um, designated for children with special needs. And we came this way before, remember? 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like, like the video, comment. All those things help promote the videos. When this video reaches a certain amount, then I will go on to the next. If it remains low, well then you will have to miss out on the video. So please let others know so they can also benefit. And you can also benefit by getting new videos. Thanks so much for watching.